Hi guys, welcome back to reading the word and understanding the Bible verse. Today I re I'm reading Galatians chapter 3 and chapter 4. And in chapter 3, what I find interesting or stood out to me the most is starting in verse 23. And it says, Before the faith comes, we were held prisoner by the law, locked up until faith shows to be revealed, so that the law was put into charge to lead us to Christ, that we might be justified by faith. Now the faith has come, we are not longer under the supervision of the law. So, what I love about this is so much, is this brings the Old Testament of Moses and the law. That everybody was in how to like obey to understand who who God was, and well, what it's so interesting about this is now we're not we're, we're still under the law of what the Ten Commandments are of what Moses brought down on Mount Sinai. We're still under that law because without Jesus Christ, without Having Jesus Christ inside you, which to accept Jesus Christ inside you, you have to become a born again Christian. And when you do become a born again Christian, and you start seeing how Christ works in your life, and you start noticing that it's not only the Ten Commandments that you have to obey, but it's through building up faith with Jesus Christ, with working with, working with him, because Jesus Christ now doesn't live in a temple. He doesn't live in a building. He comes inside you and lives inside you. And that's what's so awesome about this, is that we're not prisoners of the law anymore. God knows that we can't obey the law by ourselves. He knows that it's so hard for us humans because we're born in a sinful world and have a sinful nature that the Ten Commandments, we all fall as humans. We all can't walk like Jesus Christ walked on this planet. Why? Because Jesus Christ was the only person sinless and died for our sins. That's why Jesus came to, to, to walk on earth is that so we could so when he died on the cross he was sinless he died for us to be able to go to for for us to be able to go to heaven that's why Jesus Christ died for us is that for our forgiveness of our sins so we could turn and trust in him and have that faith in him now you got to remember that that's the beauty of relationship of Jesus Christ, of understanding who he is and accepting him as your Lord and Savior because the, the our faith is in Jesus Christ. Our faith, our walk, or how how you how you see the world is kind of awesome because now you get to see the world in a different way and we get to see all the blessings that Jesus Christ has done for us. And that's the love that he has for us. And a blessing of that is we get to feel his love and his presence by having faith in him, by by sacrificing your 24 hours in a day that he gives you to be able to spend time with him and to be able to fellowship and worship him and be with him daily. Because I know without, I know without not having Jesus Christ in my life, I would be lost. And I know that having faith and, and focusing on him and letting my pain and my sufferings go to him and just ask him to take it away. Because I know that I can't take it away. I know that having faith in Jesus is the only way that's going to help me go through my chest pain, go through my, go through my heartache, go through whatever I'm dealing with in life. I know that... It's having faith in Jesus Christ to having that beautiful relationship with him, building that love and that trust so that way when I go through devilry times, 
I don't, I don't panic. I don't go, why am I going through this? I would be like, there's a learning lesson here I have to learn. And that learning lesson is, is just to trust in him, just to build faith in him. I don't know why I'm going through this hard, with this hard time of having this chest pain for so long and struggling to breathe sometimes when I get up and still feeling that 10 pound chest weight on my chest. Doctors haven't been able to solve it, but I do know one person who could completely heal me in a, in a blink of an eye or a snap of my fingers, and that's Jesus Christ. If he wants to heal me, he could heal me, no problem at all. But there's a reason why I'm going through this suffering and pain, and I just have to have faith that there is going to be a time where he is going to heal me from this. And the beauty of it is, is that me building up my faith and, and reading the Bible and understanding, growing closer to him, is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing right now, which I love it. Because for the last eight days of this month, I have been, I have been doing other stuff, but I haven't been reading my Bible. I haven't been spending time with the Lord. And I can tell you, the first eight days of this month, was a, it, was, it was a struggle. But it's so good to be able to come back and glorify God and and just be in his word and just understand that no matter what I go through is that he's always there next to me and that's the beauty of having faith in him is that he never leaves you we think sometimes in our mind that all bad situation Jesus isn't there but guess what he's always there willing to hold your hand and walk you through that walk you through that path and that's the beauty of having faith in Jesus Christ is that he doesn't leave you he wants to love you more it's just how much more are you willing to have your flame on for Jesus Christ and turn away from the world and try to stay in that narrow path it's the hardest thing for all of us born and believers to do is to walk in that narrow path of Jesus Christ of what he walked because there's a wide world of destruction and Satan knows that. He knows how to control that wide world of destruction for us. Especially us going in Christians. He helps distract us any way possible for us not to read a Bible, for us not to listen to the word or not watch a good Bible story or or um a good testimony on online, on YouTube, he'll distract us with any way possible for us not to glorify God in some type of way. So we remember that today, is that build up your faith, spend some time in the Word, and just love Jesus Christ because He's always there. He wants to get to know you, wants to be by you, and wants to hold your hand through your darkest times. And through your happy and glory times, He's there. Why? Because he loves you. you. Gotta remember, it took him seven days to build the planet, but it takes him it takes him nine months to build you. And that is something that's always sustaining to me, is that he took nine months to build me, and that's how much love and faith he has in me to walk to walk with him. So I pray that we just have a good day, blessed day. Love you guys, and God bless.